What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. And I'm gonna take you guys through in this video what I think might be the future supply that can possibly be mined in the next wave that we'll see in Titan X and how much supply we're likely to see. Now, this video is wrong in terms of it being definitive. It's very, very difficult to even try and think about how the market is gonna to wanna to mine, what prices we're gonna be at. And there's just a ton of things to consider in this. So this is just for entertainment value to show you just how difficult it will be in the future to mine Titan X, okay? So let me work you through kind of what my thought process has been, how I was kind of coming up with these numbers here. So what I wanted to find out was based on the original amount of Titan X used to mine, if we took that exact dollar value that was used on average, because there's like an average price uh, over that time, there's 49,700 ETH that was used originally to mine within the first like 70 or if you want to add all the way to the very end, it's about 127 days. Um, I averaged it over the meat of it, which was around 70 some days, just because that was when the most of the, or most of the ETH came in, which I'll show you here just to keep you in the loop. So you can see by day like 75, uh, most of the mining had been done. Uh, and then this is, yeah, most of the ETH that had been spent in here. So kind of making some assumptions just to make things easier. But then what I wanted to do was I had to do just a bunch of stuff to try and figure out, okay, where is price going to go? All, all these factors that I can't predict. And so a couple assumptions here. I just went out to day 500 um, and said that if, or the, the average or all of Titan X mined happened on day 500 within the next wave, this scenario would play out. If it goes further out into the future, even less supply is mined. And again, I think this is inaccurate, but it's just to show you how difficult it's going to be over time to mine Titan X with the same amount of economic energy that we saw in the beginning phase of Titan X. So the day 500 cost in ETH is going to be 0.298. So just about 0.3. That's basically a 50% increase from what we saw originally. Now, if we go all the way over to figure out what the initial value of that ETH was. So I took an average here to see what that 49,700 ETH was worth from uh, October, I believe it was 27th to, I think it was around November. And it was around 2150, it, it seemed like. So I punched that in see how to see how much uh, value that was worth. It's about 106,855,000. So if we were to go ahead to day 500 and figure out, okay, how many miners could be created with that same value, you know, then we know the future mining cost, if we were to assume, I think it was, yeah, let's, let's assume day 500 ETH doing real well. It's 4,000 bucks uh, for ETH right now. It's rocketing. And this is day 500 is about 162 days away from the time I'm making this video. So it could very well happen. It could be higher or lower, but just for the sake of this, we're going to do this, uh, this way here. So if we take the amount of the future mining cost, the value of the ETH, we divide it all together. We get the possible miners that are created on day 500 with that value and that assumption of the ETH uh, mining or the ETH cost or value, I should say, we get 89,619 miners that are possible. Now, with all the math that I have with, with the Titan X model that you guys have access to in the public uh, Google Drive uh, folder that is down in the description below, you'll be able to go and use this model. I don't have this one that we're working on today up there. Anyways, so if we take 89,000, multiply it by the current 500 day um, amount of Titan X that's mineable, then what we get is the amount of Titan X that we would get as a base number if all those miners were created basically around the same time or averaged out to be from day 500 and assuming they were all 280 day miners. Like if they're not all 280 day miners, this is wrong and it's only going to shrink. Okay. So the Titan X mineable, assuming everything we've talked about, would be about 24 trillion. The T rank, and I'm not even going to explain this. This is just a guesstimate because I was trying to figure out how to do this properly. It's a really weird estimate. Somewhere around 6.5 trillion, I would assume, would be what people would get based on the same number of um, uh, the miners possible with the current T rank, all this stuff. So basically, though, that brings the whole, the new total to 30 trillion. 30, 
basically 31 trillion for the same amount of economic energy. Now, if we go look at the supply that's already been mined, if we add up the liquid, the stake, the penalties, the bill and Titan X protocols, all the pieces to the puzzle in Titan X uh, for the ecosystem, we see that 220 trillion tokens were originally mined over the first year. And they're about to come to an end. It's basically the supply started coming out in November of last year and will end in November of this year. So 220 trillion was the first round of inflation that we've seen since the beginning. And already we're almost seeing a 10x reduction with the same amount of economic energy, assuming day 500. Now, if we bring this back a little further, it's going to scale up a bit. Now, if we were to scale this back, which I'm not going to do for the sake of this video, it's going to increase the Titan X mineable, of course. However, this is profound to understand for the ecosystem because every time a new wave of Titan X tokens can come out due to this, the cyclical nature of Titan X, so it seems, we're going to see less and less and less Titan X. So this next wave, we might see only 30 trillion. And if we were to take the same ratio we did before and basically almost 10 to one in reduction, then we might only see three or four trillion the next wave. And after that, it might only be 300 billion in the next wave. And yes, those could be two, three years away from seeing those numbers. But if this doesn't make you understand just how bullish this whole Titan X ecosystem is and how difficult it is going to be to gain Titan X, well, I hope this video is making you understand a little bit more just how difficult Titan X is going to make and already is to make in the future. Now, this also doesn't take into consideration that the future mining costs I've put in here as $4,000 ETH. If ETH goes up in 170 days to like 6,000, 7,000 all-time highs, I mean, this changes dramatically. Let's, let's just type this in real quick. Let's say ETH goes to $7,000. Now we got 17.5 trillion. That can only be mined on day 500. Now, you can just see how the ETH value is so associated with the amount of possible, um, assuming we're having the same amount of economic energy coming in, which I don't even know if we're going to get 106 million. Like, that's a huge number. Maybe we only get 50 million. Maybe we only get 20 million. Maybe we only get 10 million in the next wave. You know, and all these numbers just shrink the amount of possible supply. So, again, this video is just for entertainment is just to show you how quickly the supply will constrict and will reduce the possible amount of Titan X to be able to come on the market um, over time. And this is only going to get more and more difficult. Um, this is only day 500 we're speaking of and not day 1000, not day 1200, not a couple years in the future, not even, this isn't even 12 months down the road. Okay. So I hope you're understanding just how powerful this is. And I hope you're starting to see that. Oh my goodness. Titan X is about to get real rare and deflation is going to happen. And I hope you're ready for it. There's so much being built on this ecosystem that with everything trying to get Titan X and burn it, we could see the supply shrinking incredibly rapidly as we move into November, December, and January. So that's it though. I just wanted to make a quick video, show you guys what I'm finding just roughly and what things are pointing to in terms of how Titan X uh, is going to be able to be mined in the future. So thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that like and make sure you subscribe for much more content like this. And if you want to join the mastermind that I have, it is just about full. We cover way more than just this stuff here. And if you want to join, there's a link in the description as well for that, as well as my one-on-one -on -one, uh, 30 minute and one hour calls as well. And if you want the free guide to Titan X, go in the description and there's going to be a link to my website where it's the free 40 page download so you can understand everything there is about Titan X. So Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.